Hello, hello, and welcome back to PTSD Wild Black. This is Quinn. Um, doing a little bit of a, a check-in and a focus. Um, yeah, just more of a check-in. By the way, if anyone feels offended by seeing my shoulders because it's warm out here in Fresno, um, you're welcome to kiss my entire ass. Okay, with that part covered, because <laughs> I'm going to show my fat. It's going to be there. It's hot here, and I'm not going to make myself uncomfortable for other people. Um, so, good news is, um, I decided to be a foster mom for a kitten. I'll have him for three weeks, because, well, I have, I have him for three weeks, and then he's adoptable, and so I'm trying to help him to be fully socialized, potty trained, and stuff like that. That's what I'm doing right now and getting him used to being around an older cat so that hopefully he'd be able to fit into a home. Hopefully I can foster to adopt and then yay, have another baby. But you know, of the least, this is a way that I can contribute and give back and I'll post a picture of him. He's adorable. Um, so that's been something good. Um, I've allowed, been allowing myself to heal cause I'd fell after a, um, balloon gig I kind of messed up my knee a little and um my good shoulder <laughs> so i'm just letting that heal before jumping into new things oh we might have a special guest appearing because he's trying to chew my phone cord hey this is our new house guest family member hopefully um <laughs> His kennel name was Hobo, and so I'm trying to think of a good, empowering name for this little guy. Like maybe Huey, or Malcolm, or T'Challa, T'Chaka, M'Baku, Wakanda. <laughs> but he's, he's just, he's just been adorable, and our other kitty, she's been hissing at him, so... It's like you guys have to get used to each other and it's something to help. But anyway, I love that I have to turn on the flashlight to find out where this cat is. Yes! Yes! Where are you going? You shouldn't be it there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, I hope that I can get to clicker chain him so that he knows to come when he hears the sound. Yeah, come here. Come here, I got you. Come on, come on, come on, yeah, yeah, you're supported, you're fully supported, you are loved. Um, <laughs> he's just getting me to remember the beauty and joy in the world. Look at this little guy. I have to take him in for his checkup. Um, but spending more time with a baby has helped me to you're going to go back up there again, huh? <laughs> Spend, spending time with this baby has kind of like uh, helped me to center. Yeah. Because I was grieving losing Osiris. Um, and this was like a way to give back. Because one thing I was noticing in the shelters, a lot of black cats are the um, last ones to be adopted. So I can help him to be socialized. He's got the purr going. He likes my hair. Um, then, yeah, you can get a forever home. I'd love to be your forever home. But that'll be up to you. Still trying to think of something else to call him. Um, his <laughs> siblings were named Drifter and Gypsy. He had a sister and a brother. Gypsy's the sister, Drifter's the brother, and he was named Hobo. And I was like, that's such an unfor unfortunate name for a little kitty baby. Yeah, I hope that your name gets updated to something better. I want to adopt you and name you King Newton. <laughs> now, this, this is my little boy. Um, I can't believe how much he sleeps. But I'm just having fun getting to be with this little guy. But, uh, it's it's kind of interesting. Um, 
getting to play with him and love on him. I don't want to um, binge as much. This is only his second day here with us, so... I'm trying to get him used to hearing sounds of people living and making noise. So he's not so timid. But he's he's a pretty adventurous little guy. Yes, him is. He's very adventurous. And he loves the burr. Can you hear this? Oh, little darkness. What are you doing? He's my sweetie baby. You're a sweetie baby and I love you. Yeah. He's pretty brave and stands up for himself. Are you going to eat my hair? Is that what you're going to do? You're going to eat my hair. Oh no, you're going to eat my hair. Stop, I'm not a toy. And that's the other thing too. I got to train him to play with toys and not with my fingers, not with my hands. But my husband is the king of using his hands as toys. No, no. I hope that he would be as adventurous as Osiris was so that when I'm doing my balloon art that he comes in, just hangs out and doesn't feel scared. Rue, she just doesn't want anything to do with my balloons. He is food driven. <laughs> You're giving me kisses. Oh, thank you. He is food driven. So hopefully I can train him as well. Yeah. Yeah. So this has been my joy. Just to give back. Because all black lives matter. Even these little guys. All right. <laughs> Until next time. Mwah.